In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix DirectX 12 support not detected. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna show you plenty of methods that you can follow to fix issues attributed to DirectX 12. So this is going to affect all applications that require DirectX 12, but mostly games, for example, Spider-Man. So if you are having this issue, the first thing that I would recommend is that you go over into the RectX Diagnostic Tool. You can look for this on your Windows search bar or simply DXDiag, so D-X-D-I-A-G. When you go over to the RectX Diagnostic Tool, you will be able to see the DirectX version installed on your computer. I also want to make a disclaimer that even though sometimes this might say DirectX 12, the problem is that your graphics driver or graphics adapter, namely your GPU, does not support DirectX 12. So sometimes, even though you might have DirectX 12 installed here, you won't be able to properly execute it because of old hardware on your computer. So let's get into the methods. First, you can try updating DirectX manually. So if you notice that it doesn't say DirectX 12 in there, or even if you do, just visit the official Microsoft website and look for DirectX. You will be able to download the setup from this page after you select your language, and the process is extremely straightforward. Run the executable, accept the agreement, and proceed with the installation. I'm not going to personally do it on this video because I already have the latest version, but all you have to do is click next, 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 and confirm that you wish to update or download DirectX. Once this process is done, restart your computer. Try running the application again, and if it still doesn't work, you can also try updating Windows. Now, the next thing to do is update the drivers on your GPU or display adapters like I mentioned. So like I said, if you notice that you have DirectX 12 in here, it could indicate that your GPU is simply not capable of using DirectX 12 and it can only do older versions or that your drivers aren't updated. So look for Device Manager on Windows and when you arrive at this page, find the Display Adapters category Right-click your main display adapter and then update driver. Search automatically for drivers and let this process finish. If you have something like Intel HD graphics or Intel integrated graphics, this is the method I recommend to update your drivers. Alternatively, if you have something like an AMD or NVIDIA GPU, what you have to do instead is visit the official website and acquire the drivers on your own. So for example, I have an AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. So when I visit the AMD website, I go into Graphics, 7000 Series, 7900 Series, and then 7900 XTX. Of course, if you have something else, for example, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090, GeForce RTX 4080, just visit the website and follow the same process. So the 40 Series and then your respective product. Once you are done updating the drivers for your GPU, which can be done by running the executable file that you download, you will be able to try running any application that requires DirectX 12 once again. For most computers that have a dedicated modern GPU, you won't have any issues doing this, but like I said multiple times, if you have an old GPU or an old hardware, old computer in general, even though you might have the latest version of DirectX, your hardware simply isn't capable of running DirectX 12. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix DirectX 12 support not detected. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.